Good morning, y'all. Well, today's the day to move the uh, move the baby ducks outside. Um, morning, Bella. I went ahead and get all them out. There's crazy Bella. Another morning, but I gotta clean the duck coop out first and get a get a section of the duck coop. Morning, chickens. How y'all doing? How y'all doing this morning? So I gotta get the uh, get the duck coop sectioned off for the baby ducks and kind of introduce them slowly. I gotta clean it out first, as you can see. But uh, what I figured I'd do was probably just go ahead and section off maybe just the back half would be the smart thing to do. Take and run a fence across here and give the baby ducks this this section and then just let the, the adult ducks have the front section. That way I can introduce them face to face and they won't, you know, I won't have to worry about them hurting the baby ducks until they get on up there. But let me get this coop cleaned out <clears throat> and I can get that fence and then uh, and go ahead and get these uh, baby ducks set up. Cause you, I mean, I'll show you how how big them baby ducks has got, and they're they're coming out of the out of the little brutal we got them in. So it's time to move them. So here's the makeshift pen, well, temporary pen that uh, we got. And the adult ducks will stay here, and the baby ducks will stay back here. That way they got face-to-face -face time with the fence without hurting each other. And then as they're introduced over the next, you know, like week, two weeks, probably two weeks. Two weeks, we'll take that fence down and let them start intermingling, and then they'll all be back together. And I guess I'd start pecking over thing again. I don't They probably will. <laughs> so, uh. I guess it's just a matter of getting their food trays and all that set up now. Well, there's the ducks food and water, the baby ducks food and water. And there's a pen. And what I'll do is I'll bring out the, uh, I'll bring out the heat lamp. That way if the temperature drops too bad at night, I can just turn it on. But I'll probably go ahead and hang that thing. Probably like right over here on one of these ledges, hang it there and point it down. And just give them, I'll show you when I get done. That way it gives them a, a heat source if temperature drops. But uh, let me go inside and I'll show what the uh, baby ducks are like now. Cause man, they've gotten big. You talk about big? The baby ducks don't got big. <laughs> All right. This, by the way, is our spare packing room. But uh, let me show you how big these ducks has got, y'all. 
They they got to go outside, man. Watch this. What's doing there? No longer baby ducks, huh? What y'all doing? Time for y'all to move. Yeah, y'all gotta move. So, moving day, y'all. We get them jokers outside. Oh, and there's a heat lamp. I'll take this heat lamp and put it outside. And uh, that way, if we do need it, then we can use it. But they got they got to go out. They got into big. Look at the size of their feet, y'all. They got big new feet off. Lord have mercy. <laughs> get these big jokers moved. See how it goes. That's where we're gonna be at now. Definitely got them bigger, and that's enough to where we can let them get up, get used to the older ducks, integrate them into the, to, to their flock, and do it safely. So I'll do it for now. We just have to see how they do. See how long it takes. All right, a couple of quick garden updates. Um, I did get. Well, it looks like the uh, lemon tree's doing fine. Even though I moved it, I thought it was going to stun it. But uh it ain't stunning it at all. It's doing it's doing fine. Doing perfect. So my lemon tree's doing good, which is great. And I got the uh, I got the sugar cane root. And I rooted them over here. And as long as I can get some, uh, some stalks up, what I'm going to do is I'll let those get up and growing and cut those and use them as root stock next spring and i'm gonna put a, a sugar cane patch right back here behind where the potatoes are at so the sugar cane will go here so this fall i'll go ahead and start digging that out and uh i'll go ahead and start putting uh the fer uh, fertilized hay and all in there and let it get that soil good and rich and uh then by the time it's time to cut the the sugar cane out of here and start uh, planting the, the root stock it'll be it'll be good and healthy uh soil so uh so that did all right and i'll show you the thing i made um over here in the garden for our little garden which by the way that the deal's finally coming up which i'm shocked but uh here we go in the garden i made this little garden lantern it's a solar one but well, there you go At night, it really looks, really looks good, y'all. And see, my uh, my cucumbers are coming out. They're looking good. Of course, I gotta, I gotta harvest some of that oregano. But uh, even the corn's looking good, y'all. But the beans are doing great. Beans are coming out like gangbusters, but there's my corn. Some All my corn's coming up. Let's we'll see how corn does this year. Last year, corn just, just kind of floundered. It didn't do too well last year. And I'm, I'm gonna let this uh, let this pup on this banana tree get on up some, get some good root, a good root system going to it before I cut it, before I cut it loose from the mom, and separate it and put it over here. And I will, I'll end up putting it over, probably right in here, right beside where that banana tree's at, right there. Um. So anywho, that's a quick garden update. Ooh, which, by the way, 
as far as the chickens go. The uh, chickens are doing great, y'all. My ice browns. Yeah. Hey, girls. How y'all doing? How y'all doing? They're the sweetest chickens ever. They come right to you. It's like having little, little pet puppy dogs. What y'all talking about? Huh? What'd y'all do last night? Did y'all go to a party? You go to a humdinger? A real knee slapper? <laughs> but, uh, now the chickens are paying their own way. Uh, every, every egg we got now, they, they're bought. So, all of our chicken eggs are getting bought and all of our duck eggs are getting bought. So, they're pretty much paying for themselves now, which is nice. Um, so yeah, the mice brown chickens are doing good. Like I said before, I've said on a couple of videos, when it comes to my uh, chickens, man, I'll stick with ice browns all day long. I love them. I love them. They're good, they're good hard layers. They're steady layers. But, uh, and they're docile. They're just the sweetest chickens they can be. So, yeah, I'm, I'm not dissatisfied with my, with my chickens at all. Ugh. And I don't know if I mentioned before that all of our, all of our rabbits were gone, but yeah, they're gone. And we're going to give, we're going to give it a little time before we end up Getting, doing that again. Hey, Scooter. Scooter says he don't mind. Do you, Scooter? Nope. There are buttons. Hey, buttons. You might be up to bat pretty soon. And there's Lily. Mama Lily. All by herself in her lonesome. But she was ready, y'all. She started shoving them, them baby rabbits off, so it was time. I'm glad we got rid of them as fast as we did. But uh, we might get that another shot in a couple months. I don't know. We'll see. Well, see, it ain't like we couldn't get rid of them because good lord they were buying them things left and right so uh yeah we'll give it a shot in another couple of months oh yeah and the uh, muscadine vine if y'all didn't see it that thing is going gangbusters y'all that thing is going crazy i love it so i'm kind of hoping we're gonna get some daggone muscadines out of it this year we're gonna see but it's healthy i mean that thing is healthy it is going all over the place y'all Look at that. So yeah, we may get some muscadines out of that thing this year. Hey, Mocha. How you doing? What's up there, Mocha? Huh? There's Puddles and Harper. What y'all doing there, ducks? Wait till y'all see y'all's y'all's duck coop. Y'all got some friends in there now. Yeah. By the way, y'all were wondering about Bella. There's Bella up under there. She's rooting up under that deck. Look at that. I don't know if y'all can see her or not, but there she is. Another little surprise for you. Look here. Watch here. Hey, Colton. <laughs> and my grandson's here. So you have been kind of busy with him. But, uh, you know. All right, so you have my grandson's here. There he is. Colton. Colton. Can you say hey? Why are you trying to eat the fireplace, Colton? Trying to eat the fireplace? <laughs> yeah, I'm a grandson too. Where's my daughter Chelsea? Alright, this is what happened last night. Son-in-law Chris? Hello. That's who, that's who gives me all the stuff, by the way. You know hey, Rish. You know Alright. So that's your uh, update for today? Oh. Um, so we got the ducks moved, which is terrific. But uh, we got some stuff coming up that I'll show you. And uh, anyway, uh, God bless each and every one of you. We sincerely mean that. And uh, if you would, please like and subscribe. That'll help us out. Um, and I hope you enjoyed this episode. Hope to see you in the next one. Thank you for watching. <laughs>